Hello, and welcome back to Sydney Theatre Company Virtual. I'm Shari Sebbins, and this week brings us an excerpt from Stolen by Jane Harrison. This snippet is for the big kids and the little kids, if they dare. Are you scared of the dark? Do you want to hear the story of the big, bad Munji? My grandfather told me this. A long time ago, there was no darkness. The Uringa, that is the sun, shone all the time, day and what we now call night. The earth was very hot and in the dry season it would make all the water holes dry up and the animals would have to travel to the south for water. One time, it was so hot that there was no water and tucker was scarce. The burra, kangaroo, all bounded away and the birds flew off in such a big flock that it turned the sky permanently black. But nobody minded because it was much cooler in the dark until the manji came along. The manji was an outcast from the mob and he was mean and he was huge. He was so huge, he used to eat a whole kangaroo tail by himself every day. He was the best hunter and he could sneak up on the burrow drinking at the waterhole and snap its neck with his bare hands. Except when the darkness came, there was no burrow and no fish and no goannas because they'd all moved on to the other waterholes. The Munji got so hungry that he came and snuck into his people's camp and stole one of the children. Then he ate him up. Munch, 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 and he was gone. The next day he did the same. Under the cover of darkness, he snuck in and stole another baby and ate him up. The mob were frightened and upset and crying. They tried hiding the children, but the Munji always found them. The Munji's stealing our babies, they cried to the elders. What are we going to do? We can't catch him because we can't see him in the dark. The elders thought about it and came up with a plan. They would cast a spell on him. The next day, the elders waited for the Munji, and when they sensed his presence, they threw magic powdered bone all over him. It stuck in his hair and on his skin, and he couldn't scrub it off. The Munji was turned into a pale skin, and that was his punishment. He would never be able to sneak into the camp to steal the children because he would be seen. And the people would know. And the people would never forget. So, kids, I've got to go or the matron will skin me, but remember, it's not the dark you need to be afraid of. Thank you for watching STC Virtual. If you're in a position to do so, please donate to STC or another favourite theatre company or the Actors Benevolent Fund. Hope you enjoyed this instalment. Bye for now.